Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, March 16th. Just finished the long road walk section of the Mattabesset Trail, uh, coming from Route 15, which is the Berlin Turnpike. And I'm taking a left here, going into the woods. Finally. My blue blazes. New England Trail. Actually, this is the Meta Comet, so I'm not sure where the Meta Comet picked up, whether it's right here or a little farther back, but I'm on the Meta Comet now. Praise the Lord. Be nice if they had a sign that clearly marked Meta Besset in one direction and Meta Comet in the other. But I'm on the Meta Comet now. Hey everyone, continuing the thoughts of creation this morning, looking in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10 and verse 6, and it says, From the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. And so God designed men and women for each other. The religious leaders were trying to uh, catch Jesus in a trap, and they were talking about divorce. But he made it clear here that men and women, when they get married, are supposed to stay married for life. It's a lifelong commitment to love each other and encourage each other. What catches my intention in this verse is it's from the beginning of creation. So men and women have existed from the beginning of creation. There was nothing before them. That creation week on day six, God made Adam and Eve and, uh, he expects us, when we marry, to stay together. And again, if you look at creation and design, he made men and women for each other. There's no question about that. Here's the spot I sat and had my lunch when I did the Mattabesset Trail. Trail's going up that way. Here's the nice stream I sat by. All right, so I just came from back there. There's a little road over there, a little dead-end circle. And this is where I ended my Matabesa Trail through hike. Uh, even though the end was part of the Metacoma Trail, I had parked my truck right here at the end of this road and uh, finished my Matabesa Trail. So I started at the Connecticut River, did a big loop coming down to where the trail coming up from uh, Guilford meets up, continued north from there and then eventually little piece of the Metacomet to here. But now I'm clearly on the Metacomet, continuing north, praise the Lord. Just saw a couple white-tailed deer running through the woods over there. White flags up, taking off. Uh, something to let you know, I tweaked my ankle earlier today. It's doing good now, but boy, that hurt. It smarts when that happens. Going over some neat ridges today. One of the ones I'm looking forward to is Castle Craig. If you look at my Matabesset Trail hike from some of the ridges I was on, looking down, down over the reservoir, another one over Silver Lake, you could see over to Castle Craig. Hubbard Park is over there in uh, Meriden. So the trail actually went south a little bit and then a loop back north. So I will be going over Castle Craig and I'm doing pretty good on time. I have a 13.8 mile day, probably about 10 miles to go. I've done a little over three miles already, three and a half miles. So I may uh, sit up there for a while and enjoy the view if it's not too cold. Praise the Lord. So on the top of the ridge over there, I can see Castle Craig. Probably gonna do that whole ridge. Just came from back there. Trail's going right through this rock 
slide right here just right along the edge of it all rocks piled up and the trail follows right down the middle got a small little stream here I gotta figure out how to cross unfortunately there's trash at the bottom but uh, just wide enough that I can't step across a little higher to get on these rocks here maybe that branch over there going by Elmer Reservoir couple geese over there beautiful little pond just saw a blue heron he's in a tree sticking out over the the water over there the trails going across this little dam well everyone this should be interesting that's the trail straight ahead and it's a river so I see a nice path I could get to. If I can get across this little stream, there's a nice spot, dry spot on the right. Yeah, I could probably do the left too. So something I haven't mentioned is this is all new territory to me. Well, mostly. I've been up Castle Craig, but I'm not sure that I took the New England Trail or Metacomet Trail going to the top. So uh, other than being at the top of Castle Craig, all new territory. Praise the Lord. Just came from back there. Going by this nice little lake. Little dam that I'm going across and the trail is gonna go to the left right after the lake. Go up that ridge and that top ridge up there is where Castle Craig is. It's on the other side. Going up there. This is beautiful and peaceful in here. Just came across the road there, the dam, following the ridge along the lake. That is gorgeous. Going up. Look at this, everyone. Getting a little more elevation. And there's snow on the ground again. It's gonna warm up this afternoon. Should be close to 50 degrees, so a lot of this should melt off, but uh, surprised to see it. There hasn't been any yet. So yesterday, as I was hiking in the uh, heavy winds, I noticed that the western side of all the trees had a little streak of snow going up in them everything was melting but that little patch going up the eastern side because the winds were coming out of the west and it was howling and it was cold so the the snow stayed i can see a whole bunch of trees through the forest with that snow on the uh face in the west on the western side awesome up on the ridges looking down at the mirror mirror reservoir Almost to Castle Craig. Beautiful. What a difference a day makes. Coming up through all that rain two days ago, the heavy winds and cold yesterday, and today it's partly sunny, mostly cloudy, but uh, much warmer, much drier. Beautiful. I'm enjoying today. I can see the castle through the trees right there. Almost there. I'm gonna have my lunch up there. I'll show you when I get there. All right, I just came from down there. Trail must go across here somewhere. I don't see it yet. Oh, there it is, straight across that way. But I'm gonna go up and sit by the castle. There it is, Castle Craig. Should be some phenomenal views. Sit up here and have my lunch. Praise the Lord. So the pond down there is at Hubbard Park, and I've come up trails from that direction, but I just came up from the reservoir in that direction. So again, new trails. Been up here, but never this direction.
castle back there. A lot of rock ridges that I'm up on. Beautiful. Interstate 691 down there, and I'll be following the ridges that way, I think. Nicely turning north. Looking out at Southington Ski Area. Heading up the mountain this way. This had to be one of the most ridiculous puds I ever saw. I just came coming up the mountain from back there. But I came down the mountain. I was at the top of Castle Craig, came over a little, and it went straight down the mountain. And then about 20 yards over, I'm right back up the mountain. Heading up this way. I think there's a road that crosses it. So one of the silliest puds I ever saw, but it makes the trail what it is. All right, maybe not so silly. Because if you didn't come down here and up here, you wouldn't see all these neat ridges up above you. It's beautiful. A couple military aircrafts going by. Looks like a C-130. Just came from back there. Big old tower right here. I would love to be able to go up there, but it's all fenced off. I can't go up. Just going down this way, came out to a little parking lot. Nice big rock formations. All right, so I'm in Southington. Got another long road walk. Back into the woods for a little bit. I see some views when I go back in, so I'm assuming I'll go up and over a small hill or mountain. And then back to a road and a special trail angel's gonna pick me up. I'll let you know who it is when I get there. Praise the Lord. Beautiful view looking back. That big ridge in front of me is uh, where Castle Craig is on the back side of it. So I came down that, came down the long walk, road walk down there, back into the woods behind me and up to here. I'm gonna be going up forward a little bit and then going off to the right and there'll be another view on the other side. Last ridge walk of the day. There's Mount Southington Ski Area. And beautiful views. Boy, isn't that real nice? Right before Carey Street in Southington. A welcome hikers with some chairs to sit in. Got a little river back over there, good water source. But uh, man, is that nice to see. All right, everyone, I made it to Carey Street. Did. 13.9 miles today the trail continues up the dirt road behind me this is where i'll be starting tomorrow praise the lord had a great day hey everybody i'm on a, getting a ride with a special two special trail angels young nana unbelievable and her husband justin hello trail name karaoke machine oh what is it karaoke karaoke machine machine, machine. Yeah. karaoke machine all right yeah you'll figure that out <laughs> now the day i met sue up on mount bushnell justin was still doing trail magic yeah so they were all doing trail magic and uh he stayed down and continued feeding hikers while uh sue and the other two went up for a hike and that's where they met me 
two years, on uh, three years ago now. That was in 2019. Almost four. Four, four years yeah. ago, wow. It was the year before you did your through bike. And they are setting me up in the Blue House Suite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a unique experience, and uh, I'll show it to you when I get there. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Guys, here's my accommodations for the night. It's the back of their church and they have this house that they bought and uh, I get to stay in the house and I have the whole house to myself. <laughs> what a unique, awesome experience. Praise the Lord. You're calling it the Blue House Suite. Guys, this is the Blue House Suite, bottom floor. It's set up for a little auditorium here. Bathroom over here and I am upstairs. Guys, I can't thank you enough. Praise the Lord. Praise this this the Lord. is awesome. Amen. Thanks. And I am staying upstairs. Look at this. There's another big open room up here. Shower. It's kind of a game room. Ping pong table. I'm just going to sleep on one of the couches up here. A little lounge area. A little kitchen area. I've got a coffee maker. can make myself a cup of coffee. And I got a shower up here. So I'm going to take a shower. This is awesome. What a unique experience. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Justin. I really appreciate it. Hey, everybody. So got a couple more people that are uh, coming along to take us out to dinner. So here's Michelle, telemarketer. Hello. So it's good to see you again and your yeah. husband, Dennis. And uh, we're all going to go out to dinner. So what a special treat this is. Thank you so much, Sue. You appreciate it. Welcome. 